Hey guys, welcome to Digital Srini on YouTube. And this video answers a couple of questions that you, my viewers, have asked. This is uh, basically, if you have RGB masks, and sometimes you only have the hex codes, like I'm showing down here, right? If you have these type of masks, how do you use them for semantic segmentation okay in this example this is obviously an aerial imagery satellite imagery for example and <clears throat> you have a corresponding mask right here and showing uh, i can see that the water is in some sort of a yellowish shade in fact this is orangish shade and then you have yellow right there representing something else and then you have purple and so on and the only thing i got from the documentation is these right i mean the buildings are in this code and uh, land and road and vegetation and so on so how do we get started okay i don't want to make this a very long video because i'll probably cover another video just talking about okay how do you segment satellite imagery okay but for now let's just focus on the task to be done which is being able to convert these images into uh, categorical so you can go ahead and work with uh, unit for multi-class uh, segmentation okay so first let me jump into uh uh I was thinking about whether to jump into code, but let me just show you where I got this data so you can read more about it. Okay, so let's jump in. Okay, so uh, here is the page where I got those images from, and this is obviously uh, from Kaggle, as you can see. And this is called Semantic Segmentation of Aerial Imager, Imagery. So go ahead and Google search. I'll try to leave the link as part of the description, uh, but sometimes I have, a, I have a tendency of forgetting to include that, uh, but I'll try to include that uh, uh, right now. And uh, if you look at the description here, all I get is, okay, the data set consists of whatever, blah, blah, blah. And these are the codes, right? And when I download the files, this is how it looks like. And uh, you have eight tiles and in each tile you have images and masks and in images you have uh, multiple images and the painful part with this data set is uh, look at this image this image is 797 by 644 in dimensions if i go somewhere else this image let's see i think some of these images are different size this one is 797 by 643 off by one pixel. So you cannot just read them into NumPy array. I'll talk about that later on. And if I go to a different tile right here, uh, the image is a completely different size, right? 1126 by 1058 and the masks are corresponding size. Okay, the point here is, okay, we have these masks that have these uh, different colors. How do we go from reading these images or masks into uh, converting them into categorical for semantic segmentation? So for that, let's jump into the code. Okay, so far, again, uh, just so I don't waste your time, I have already uh, loaded the images into a NumPy array. Okay, I'll, I'll go through this uh, later on in leisure. Uh, I'm still experimenting with uh, what approach really works well for this segmentation. This is not an easy data set. You don't have a lot of images, only a handful of images. So the best IOU you can get is probably 50, 60 or something, given that you have six different classes. Okay, just a quick background about the data set. So what I've done here is instead of handling each image, large image, while reading, I'm actually dividing the image into certain patch size. And in this case, I'm dividing them into 256 patch size. Okay? Okay, so that's the only thing, uh, probably that even that doesn't matter right now. Let's look at the mask data set. So if you look up here, mask data set, I have 1,305 images because I cropped these images into 256 by 256, you see? And then each image is 256 by 256 by three. So far, so good. And we have an RGB image. We know that we have RGB image, but sometimes the data set itself will give you what each color represents, what is each color, but here it's just a hex code. So first of all, I have to convert this hex code into RGB and then match my RGB values to RGB values at every pixel and then replace that pixel value with zero or one or two or three or four or five or six, right? So, uh, sorry, or five, uh, we have five classes here. So that's the, that's the goal right now. So first of all, I hope you guys know what hex is. If not, I'll, uh, uh, let me quickly cover that point. I wasn't sure if you, if you are aware of it. So hex, it's called hex because it's hexadecimal. What does hexadecimal mean? 16, right? Hex is six and decimal is 10. Hexadecimal is to the base 16. So, if you have a red value, okay, that means the value is divided into units of 16. 
well not every number is divisible by 16 obviously so what do you do with the remainder okay so let me explain that so in this hexadecimal notation all the values from 0 to 9 are given a values of 0 to 9 and anything from 10 to 15 are given a to f okay so far so good I hope now let's look at an example of RGB where my red value is 201 green can be something blue can be something else but let's just focus on one my red is 201 my intensity at that red pixel is 201 right this is an 8-bit image where values go from 0 to 255 so 201 means a lot of red okay now how does that look like in our hexadecimal in our hexadecimal let's divide 201 by 16 why because this is hexadecimal what do you get when you divide 201 by 16 you get 12 plus a reminder of 9 so that means what is 12 10 is a 11 is B and 12 is C right so 12 is C so you get C right there and then what is 9 9 is 9 so 201 in hexadecimal is C9 I hope that makes sense that's it this is C9 let's do the uh, exercise the other way around so if you look at a hex of 3C1098 why am I picking that number because isn't that one of the 3C1098 okay that's our building code uh, or the color for the building so uh, by the way 3c represents red 10 represents green and 98 represents blue okay so this is still rgb except it's kind of represented in hexadecimal that's it so 3c is red 10 is green and 98 is blue okay so now let's go back and by the way when i'm reading the masks i was using opencv to read the masks which means opencv reads them as bgr not rgb okay so I took that BGR image and converted that to RGB so my channels are in the right order yeah R G and B okay now let's come down these are all important little details that you need to pay attention to okay now let's actually calculate our 3c1098 right so first of all let's look at 3c what is 3 3 that basically means 16 times 3 right so this is hexadecimal 16 times 3 plus what is C c is 12 we know that this equals to 60 now let's do 10 10 in hexadecimal is 116 right i mean this is hexadecimal so 1 times 16 plus 0 remainder that's 16 and then let's look at uh, the last one 98 98 is 9 times 16 plus 8 152 you can convert any of these this is fun exercise probably we have done this in high school middle school whenever we were taught the base 2 and base 16 and all kinds of uh, uh, stuff okay so now that you know this let's jump to the actual part so uh, first of all I'm assuming I don't know what the colors are which I don't in this case all I know is that my building is this color so first I need to convert that to RGB and then I'll take RGB and convert that into something else okay so now let's come back here so all in uh, first let's let's uh, let's do this exercise what is our 3c our 3c is 60 60 right in Python it's very easy to do that all you need to do is int 3c with a base of 16 when you put it this way it understands that hey you want this to be base of 16 and then it returns a value let's go ahead and do that in fact let's type it here so it's easy for you guys to see int what are, what are we looking at 3c with a base of 16 that should be 60 right there so Python makes it easy to begin with okay so this is basically a is nothing but 60 so now let's convert our 3c1098 which is the value for our buildings so all I'm trying to do is first define a variable for uh, building which is 3c1098 and because the value is given as hash right there I just I just put the hash right here because you may be reading these from a CSV file I don't know but let's say you're reading that first thing first let's strip the hash sign because that doesn't mean anything here okay so we strip that then we are left with 3c so this part all it's doing is this that's it all this is doing is that and I'm doing that for 3 1 and 9 there you go okay for uh, I'm doing so basically 3c right I'm going from I to I plus 2 that basically means 3c initially and then 1 0 later and then 9 8 that's exactly what this line does and I'm capturing that into a tuple and a numpy array so we can use it later on okay so let's go ahead and run the first line 
So you can see what the building is right there. My building is 3C1098 right here, obviously. Now let's convert that into a hex code right there. Well, sorry, into RGB. So my building is 60, 16, 152. What is that? We know that. 60, 16, 152. It, it's great when math works out. It's pretty straightforward, yeah? Now you know what hex stands for. We'll do the same for all of these, okay? We'll do the same for all of those. And uh, let's just take uh, a simple, for the demonstration purposes, let's just assign label a single patch, okay? My label is, my label is, where is my label? A single patch of 256 by 256 by three image. And if I open this, and you look at the values. Let's go to the third one. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, <laughs> wrong one. Okay, so if I open this right here, you see pixel value right there is 110 for red, 193 for green, 228 for blue. What is that? Which one is that? This is very important. Don't think that I'm uh, just being <laughs> too uh, too diligent here, but uh, just see 110, 193, 228. This is basically your road. Okay. If I go back again, this is 110, 193, 228. That's your road. If I actually go down here, you see 246 right there, 246, 41, and 132, 132, 41, 246. What is that? 132, 41, 246 is your land. Okay, so you can kind of see where we are heading with this. That's your land. That's your road over there. So these are the numbers right here. Now, uh, in your label. Now, how do we convert that into our actual labels of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4? Well, here is a small uh, function that you that you can use. So in this case, we have six different uh, classes. So what we are trying to do is, first of all, you create a uh, temporary image or numpy array with all zeros of the shape same as my image shape which is basically it's creating a 256 by 256 by 3 array of all zeros and now i just fill those zeros with 0 1 2 3 4 or 5 based on the rule right here if my label is equal to building along that axis then convert the values to zero. If my label equals to land uh, along this axis, then convert that into uh, uh, th those pixels into a value of one. So if you have RGB image like with three channels, and if R equals to if R equals to 60, G equals to 16, and B equals to 152 in these three channels, then replace those values with a value of zero, 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 zero. Okay, for building, for land, it replaces those with 111, 222, 333, that's it. And once you are done with that, let's only take the zeroth channel because it doesn't matter. All your images, they have the same number. So that's all I'm trying to do here. So let's go ahead and run this function. Obviously, it should not do anything. And then let's go ahead and start an empty array called labels and then read each of these images in my mask data set and apply this function that's all i'm trying to do here okay so let's go ahead and do that so you can see our np.array labels i mean once the labels are done and then uh, we'll stop this video i didn't expect this video to be like 15 minutes uh, long or so but i hope i hope you learned something from this okay and this is obviously this applies to any type of uh, this applies to any type of uh, you know uh, uh, se semantic segmentation uh, or any time where you're trying to convert your RGB into into uh, categorical you can you can use this. Okay, so now I have my labels. Uh, where is my labels? Uh, right up here. I have thirteen oh five images. Each image two fifty six by two fifty six, which obviously makes sense, right? I mean, let's open this. Yeah, it's a large data. So when I open this, you can see all uh, all ones over there. And let's go down. Uh, let's go down. Let's go to the next one. Actually, right there, you see all ones and fives over there. Okay. I mean, basically, you're seeing all the uh, values right here. Okay. So what do we have? 1305, 256 by 256. And uh, uh, basically, you have uh, you have an image that has uh, uh, you know that's that's uh, a single 
think of this as a grayscale image where you have values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you need to convert this to categorical. It's already there. You just need to convert that to categorical. Let me go ahead and expand the dimensions by adding uh, adding one extra dimension. So that, that becomes 1305, 256, 256, 1. Why? Because it, it makes it easy for us to convert that to categorical and have a quick look at it initially. Okay, now if you're curious, really, I mean, what are all the unique values in my mask, in my data set called labels? So let's go ahead and type np.unique. Hopefully the value should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, there you go. That means there is no more pixel value, you know, 201s and 133 or 16 or something. We converted that into a integer encoded data. And all you need to do right now is, oh, by the way, uh, again, I'm, I usually get a bit paranoid whenever I do these type of operations. So let's go ahead and look at a few of these images to make sure that the image and the mask are aligned. Yeah, obviously that's aligned. So it's it's we did all of these. And at the end of it, we are trying to make sure everything is aligned. Obviously, perfect. Now is the time to go ahead and convert that to categorical. So let's go ahead and create a labels underscore cat. So it will be uh, categorical. And then the rest is pretty much what you probably know, which is divide that into tra X train X test, Y train Y test and continue your, uh, uh, you know, using your model. Okay, so uh, let's quit by looking at labels underscore cat data set. So you have 1305 images 256 by 256 by six. This is converted to categorical. So all set for uh, multi-class semantic segmentation. Okay, so I uh, at a very high level, we took hex, convert them to RGB because we don't know what RGB values are. If you know, go ahead and start there. And then we said, okay, for each of those uh, pixel values that matches the RGB of whatever the class I defined here, whether it is a building or land or road, go ahead and change the values to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or something, okay? So there, you may want to automate this if you have like 30 classes or 40 classes, but based on my experience, once you go beyond, uh, let's say 10, 11, 12 of these classes, then your accuracy gets uh, for semantic segmentation. For classification, it's a different story. Usually you get good accuracy even with 50 classes, but for semantic segmentation, it's very challenging. Uh, to get to get high IOU scores uh, if you have more than 10 uh, of these uh, classes. Even with six, you'll see that this is not an easy thing, okay? Okay, I think uh, that's that's it. I wanted to communicate uh, as of, uh, as of uh, this video and stay tuned for a full-fledged video on this topic later on, but uh, let's keep focusing on uh, semantic segmentation for the next dozen videos or so. Okay. Thank you guys. Please do subscribe to this channel because I know you enjoyed this. Uh, you enjoyed this video. Otherwise you, you wouldn't be here. Okay. Thank you.